Hello everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to some more Fisk's add-on mods, mod reviews, I, it, we're, our, our theme mod reviews, I'm not really sure, we're doing more Ben 10 stuff anyway, around Fisk's superhero mods, so, yeah, I did one of these before, I did one of these not too long ago, where we looked at a mod specifically that adds in aliens and such from Ben 10, using Fisk's, uh, superhero mods, so it's an add-on to that, that was all fine. And there was one that had an Omnitrix. It was part of a mod that had a bunch of other random fun heroes and bits and bits and bits. And we, we looked at it and it was really cool. And then literally, like, the same day or the day after, the mod that added the aliens updated, add more aliens. And then another Omnitrix mod came out <laughs> shortly after as well. So I'm like, oh. Oh, I could have had all that. Over. All right, we'll do another one then. Da -da -da -da. So yeah, last time like, we looked at this mod here. That basically added in a bunch of fun aliens. I added in, like, for example, Grey Matter. And you can, like, wear the Grey Matter suit. And I'm going to take the zombie tricks off for now, because that is for... We're, we're going to look at these aliens first, I guess. Yeah, that can just sit in there until we're ready for it. Yeah, we'll look at aliens first. So, yeah, have these fun suits. Like, yeah, you could be Grey Matter, where you're just, you know, really small because you're Grey Matter and stuff. And there's so, yeah, little some cool suits. I you know, uh, really enjoyed the wolf one for the the, 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 the canary cry and stuff. Then four more get added in. And... I just, I only seen really the screenshots from them, I haven't actually tried them yet, uh, but they look kind of wild. So, let's take a quick look see, look at them first, and then, yeah, we've got this, like, full functioning Omnitrix thing, which I did give that a quick try. It's quite cool. So, right, yeah, first things first, aliens in here. So, yeah, beforehand we had, what, Grey Matter, uh, Accelerate, Ben Wolf, Blitz Wolf, whatever you want to call it. Diamond Head, Heat Blast, and Way Big. Cool. I recognize three of the aliens in this box. The bottom one, I do not. I haven't put the fecking suit on yet, so that's a thing. Right, let's shove on this one first. So, Ghost Freak. Hada. Well, actually, no. It's not technically Ghost Freak. Basically, what this mod does is run by, like, adding an Omnitrix and Ben 10 Omnitrix stuff. It's more, in the Ben 10 aliens, it's more, it's adding in the alien races. So you can just become an alien from that race, in a sense, I guess. Assuming all the Accelerate and Diamond Head races all wear those exact same bits of clothing. Which I'm pretty sure they do not. But anyway, Ghost Freak! I am currently in creative. Hold the boss. Ah, that's better. Right, Ghost Freak, you can fly with him because he's a ghost. Makes sense. You can toggle intangibility and invisibility. So invisibility, you go invisible. Very cool. Intangibility, I enjoy this. It... Let you become intangible so you can fly through buildings and stuff. I'm always going to enjoy intangibility. This is a very fun thing. Although I will admit, yeah, it's far more fun when you've got a flying entity. Because we tried previously our review and... What was the review, actually? Was there a review or were we just praying? I can't remember. I've done a lot of fisks lately. I'm now forgetting. It's all blending together. But no, we did one where we had an, a, a, a thing that became intangible. But rather than... God, what was it again? I have no idea. But either way, rather than being able to fly, it could have had like a glider. So I just sort of skidded through there and fell through the world. It was great fun. But yeah, tangibility is fun. If we just throw down, oh, there we go. Just throw in a couple of mobs and that. And yeah, because we're intangible, naturally they can't hit us, but we also in turn can't hit them. Turn the tangibility back on. We can now touch the floor and we can now beat them up because it's a fist mod thing. All the alien sits that will give us a bit more of an oomph to our abilities. So yeah, in this case, 94% damage reduction, plus 8 damage, plus 1.5 weapon damage, plus 50% speed. So, all very fun. If we go invisible, but um, You lot still know where I am. That's just cheating. Okay, there we go. They oh, never mind. They know where I am. Oh, well. Those ones know where I am. This one apparently does not because I've not gotten within a range of it yet. Okay, yeah. Obviously, way more effective on actual players. Very more fair actual players. Actual players will just lose track of wherever the fuck you are very quickly because intangibility plus invisibility means you can literally be anywhere, which is always fun. Flip side though, you're not very strong. I mean, like, you're very, you know, you, you could take a hit. 95% damage reduction is a lot, but you know, you're, you know, the plus 8 strength, as far as uh, aliens and stuff go and sits go from this mod, not one of the higher ones. Like, that, that's kind of like a kind of normal ish amount of damage for some of the things I've seen. Anyway, next up we have got Ripjaw, who I'm going to have a lot much have a harder time getting fecking down because, like, like what is your thing? 93% damage reduction, plus 5 fall resilience. All right. Oh, that wasn't enough. Flip said, though, it did give me a marker to teleport to. Right, so Ripjaw, as you can imagine, probably going to be better in the war. I uh, got a running thing, got a little jumpy, jumpy forward thing, which I always enjoy. And, I mean, yeah, looking at the things. Plus 2 base speed, plus 5.5 strength damage. Okay, that's kind of alright. 
plus one knee, plus two jump height, plus five four resilience, plus four percent speed, so you're a bit quicker. Cool. Go in the water though. What happens then? Oh, we're now we're now way better. Cool. But I mean we can we can just swim quicker. <laughs> you can talk about speed in the water. It's Ripjaw, what did you expect from him? I expected nothing from him. I never expect much from Ripjaw. He's kinda just a fish with sharp teeth, isn't he? But right. Moving on to the next one. Wild Vine. This one I am actually very interested in. For one very good reason. It's got the Adorcock tentacles. Uh, yeah, so Wildvine has vines. And this is the screenshot I saw. And I was like, yeah, no, I'm going to do another Ben 10 review now. <laughs> is it that or I was going to just do a session where I just played around with the Ben 10 stuff for a session. So, like, I might as well just do a review. I got some stuff. But, uh, yeah, so basically for Wildvine, this is quite interesting. They went for the Adorcock tentacles because Wildvine, you know, is got lots of vines and stuff. So... It's not even that unrealistic that he could do things. Obviously, like, you know, they're being metal and stuff. You ignore that little detail. But, I mean, for looks and stuff, like... And you made them green. That's cool. And, I mean, yeah, from there on, we get all the Doc Ock stuff. So, for example... Summon some... Ow, oh, you fecker. All right, you know what? Tentacles go down now. Then we'll go for a tentacle jab. So, we can just, you know, jab people... Oh, wait, that's a tentacle grab. Not a tentacle grab. There's the jab. There we go. Yeah, so you can jab people with the tentacles if you fancy it. Cool. Uh, but do you can do a technical strike, which just makes that a jagged thorny vine, I guess. I don't know. Here's where a reasoning you think applies to make this make sense, but I think it's cool. I love this. Uh, because like the dog ox thing is like so freaking cool. They even look the Spider Man uh, swinging and stuff, so. I mean, if, if you could find that alien, it makes sense to have it go for it, I think. Oh, so cool. So, yeah, the wild vine thing. Very. Very nice. And top of that, bunch of damage reduction. A little bit extra strength and full resilience. But I mean, that part doesn't really matter. Realistically, you're going to have your tentacles do, like, everything for you. Oh, I'm never going to get bored of climbing buildings with the tentacles. <laughs> oh, I, just, I have too much fun playing with this mod. As you might be able to tell over the last, like, week on, I've been doing, like, tons of videos on it. Because I'm just... I'm having so much fun playing with it. It's great fun. But yeah, I've never really cared for wild things very much. Like, as, as an alien. It's give, definitely given me a reason to want to play as them. So that's fun. But anyway, so that was Wild Vine. From there, there is one alien left. And I'm going to be honest, it looks like a naked diamond head. But now that I'm actually looking at it properly, that's going to hit a ship. Actually, wait, if I just read the, the name, I'd be able to look at the other aliens' names. and I, I would have noticed this. It, I, I'm looking at it now. It kind of looks like way big. But it's like a naked diamond head. Okay. Is it gonna- Yeah, it is! Okay! 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 Right! Can someone explain what the feck this is about? <laughs> is there- Is there- Is there an episode where Diamond Head and Waybig merge? The hell? Well, you can toggle your giant shield! Alright! Toggle your giant spike that'll impale a building! Or... Yes! Just shoot a giant laser. Seriously, where is this from? Is, there, is this from an episode somewhere? I don't know. Also, kind of murder now. You don't even hit me. No, I'm literally too big for you. And I can definitely hit you. That does not do as much damage as I thought it would. Punch damage plus 8.5. Not even that strong. Uh, massive full damage resilience, though. Massive speed. More jump height. Yeah, more step height. A big damage reduction, which is cool. And obviously, just being massive makes it harder for things to hit you. But yeah, you're not as strong as I thought you'd be. Then again, you've got this laser, so you can just sort of kill things with that, I guess, can't you? Yeah, they're all dead. All right, well, what's this thing called? I mean, it's... At, wait, diamond head and way big. Diamond big. I don't know. Uh, way head? <laughs> I don't know. What's a good merch name for this? What is this? Can someone tell me the lore of this thing? Like, what? Is it like an actual thing? Is it an alien they got? Is it an accident with the Omnitrix? I remember an episode where the aliens started merging and we got like, classics like Grey Matter and... Oh god, was it, it was a Grey Matter and Diamond Head, Ripjaw and Heat Blast, which was like the funniest of combinations. And I think it was what, Forearms and Stinkfly? I think that was the combinations we got. I don't remember any other mergers after that other than Kevin's situation. Right, well that was the aliens from that one. Cool, cool. This one, this is just an Omnitrix. That's all that's in the mod. Which I was like, oh yeah, just do it quickly, show this. I mean, to find out, I should have links down below. I think when I'm doing the review specifically for like a specific thing, I'll try and put, I'll try and remember to put links to the actual add-ons so you can use them. But I mean, yeah, if we go in creative mode, 
Uh, yeah, if you go in here and you just tag along. Yeah, so this one here is just called Ben Test. Title Ben Test seems to be quite close up in the list because I think it's all for a lot And yeah, it just looks like this, but it just gives you all different sets and stuff. And then, yeah, there's the one if you go further along. It's just called Omnitrix. It's Omnitrix mod. And it just offers Omnitrix, which is perfectly fine because what the Omnitrix does is. Well, I don't know. It, 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 I think it's going to really depend. Like, some might like this, some might not. Because what I'm going to say is, it gives you Ben's Omnitrix from the original series. In a lot of senses of the words. A.K.A. that includes the infuriating parts of it as well. So, um, yeah, looking at this thing, like, you're, you're clicking on it and stuff, it sticks out and things. So, yeah, the animation for it, very cool. I like that. Uh, then after that, you're given essentially three options. You get previous alien, next alien, and playlist one heat blast. So the fact that this playlist one indicates they're probably gonna maybe sort of add more aliens to this, and eventually maybe more watches and stuff. But I mean, the original Ben 10 watch had you know extra aliens and stuff. But yeah, if we click along though, it's the original 10 aliens. Uh, it's it's all of them. Right. Okay. So I guess starting from the get go, you just you click with F and V by the way to like go over to rotate two aliens, and you click B, blow up, and you transform. Now this part I'm less clear on. So for whatever reason, I can see through myself. I am not sure why. I I don't get what's happened here. See, so yeah, I'm quite confused by this. I don't know why the textures are bugging out for me after this one because I like it is really cool. The screenshots from them on their page look really cool. But, <laughs> I don't know, the alien textures, I'm, just, I'm able to see through them, and like, I don't know, part of me thinks maybe for this part, I might, I might just remove a bunch of the other mods I've got added in to like, see if that fixes it, because, I don't know, it's very, I I, I, I might try all or anything to say, but for now, let's just quickly look at this, what's in front of us. There's a timer, so as you know, so I'm carrying the heat blast, I'll try and fix the textures in a second, I'll see, I'll see what happens, I don't know what's going on, this is what it is. I'll add in so it's just the mod, and like the bare basics, and see if that helps. If that is the case, then I know it's just the thingamajigs, the extra mod designer is one of them. I, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, we can, like, shoot fire at stuff. Cool. All right. We can, there's a bit of kill down in Baba Nights. It, right. And, we, yeah, we can fly. And, we, you know, it's good fire coming out of it. Cool. So, yeah, you, you kind of get classic heat blast things you might have expected. And then looking at the suit itself, it's just a damage reduction, it says. But I'm assuming, like, maybe we have got... Other stuff. Yeah, like we can still have fire and we're doing more damage. It's like the other time we had Dominatrix where it doesn't tell us what the new suit is giving us, but it is giving you other benefits. Like you are, you know, maybe more full damage resilient or something. Blah, 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 blah. Um, you might notice the little green bar there. Yeah, that's going down. You might also notice I don't have a button to turn this off. I can turn it off. I can take the Dominatrix off and that would turn it off. On top of that, Dominatrix is now coded to me as one of the latest updates for the Dominatrix thing. It's now coded to me, so that it's now my only tricks. Meaning other people wearing this wouldn't be able to, like, use that, apparently. That's cool for multiplayer. To be able to, you know, steal your Omnitrix. But, yeah, that timer, technically speaking, unless I take the Omnitrix off, I won't do transform. I'll just stay where I am. And that timer will run out, and then I'll untransform. If I take the watch off, and then put it back on, that timer is still the same. It does the thing for turning off my uh, Omnitrix. The Omnitrix also... Why, why, am I, why am I being for this? I've literally got a camera for this so I can show it. <laughs> the Omnitrix... Ah, directions, they're in reverse. Uh, the Omnitrix goes red when you're powered up. At this point, I can't transform until I get power back. So, they've literally added in a first generation, like, Ben 10 watch, which... I mean, it's got the good and the bad then, I guess. You can get the full Ben 10 experience of transform, then you have to wait a couple of minutes before you can transform again. And, yeah. Okay, while that's retaking back up and stuff, we've got a second. I'm going to quickly try taking some mods out and see if that fixes anything that's going on. Right, so, at this point, mod-wise, I'm functioning with way, way less. Okay, I've literally only getting damage indicators, journey maps, not enough items, freeze cam, and the fist mod. That's all I've got. I've got all the little extra bits that I put in to make life a little bit easier. You can, like, crafting tweaks and custom NPCs, and you get the mob dismantling in case it's that. I don't know, so... With all that removed, have I fixed the thing if I transform in my eyes? No, I'm still a ghost. Right, time to dig deeper then. Also remove the watch. Quick little curiosity. Put a new watch on. Still in red. Ah, okay. So you can't just add a new watch on to like, <laughs> beat the kill-in system. That is a shame. Ah, there we go. Now it works. Kind of, yeah? Yeah, it works. Right, so... What did I do that was different there? 
Ah, uh, well, I removed every other mod thing, then mods have never done to do with it. Uh, actually, what I noticed is that Fisk's is updated twice. Once in 50 hours ago, and another one a couple of days ago or something. So, yeah, possibly like, you have to be using a like, the latest version of Fisk's in order to have the outfits work. Because I know it's also, this mod was only made, or the add-on mod, sorry, was only made literally a couple of days ago. And it updated like two days ago. So, yeah, that may have been my problem then. So, there we go. There we work. Now we look a lot cooler. Now we can fly around. And now we have to deal with the whole timer aspect thing because now we've detransformed and now we have to wait for the timer to recharge. But it, I guess, yeah, we'll look at all the aliens now that we can actually see them properly. Yeah, you know, it's not even been that long. Already with shields the master control feature because for my reviews, this is a lot trickier when it's... No! Fucking... <laughs> Click the wrong button and now I've got to deal with the timer. It's only a half of five seconds, but still... Oh, da -da. Right, okay, so, yeah, the, uh, 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 hopefully they had a master control or something like that in the future, because for doing a mod review when you've got to wait after showing us things, bit more annoying, but okay, anyway, second one, wild mod, this is not one I see very often added in to Ben things, so that's cool, also, do, 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 do. has he got, like, I don't know what his abilities now, he doesn't seem to have any actual abilities, he hits a bit harder, makes a bunch of noises, he runs quicker, he's got a jumpy thing, it looks cool. I'll give you that one. Like, I, I don't see well but added into a lot of Ben 10 stuff because his model is so different because he runs on all fours. So, yeah, I suppose to see him. This is, this is pretty cool. Uh, I, it, it's technically probably Blaine has, like, an echolocation thing to get around. But, you know, it's probably better you don't have that. <laughs> no one would use it if the screen was just dark and you could literally couldn't see anything, I, I imagine. Unless you were, like, wanting a challenge. I had the bar. You know, I'm at least glad they didn't make it so the watch sticks to you and you can't take it off. <laughs> that would have made things far more awkward. But okay, yeah. It, having to wait a little bit of time extra for the watch recharge is a bit of a pain. I'm curious how long it would be you'd have to wait. Because I'm not really sure. I'm not exactly time. I've not exactly used all the time and waited for it. I don't want to because that would take a long time. <laughs> anyway. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Wait, I just clicked. Oh, yeah, it's, it, it remembers the alien you last were on. That was last one, well, but I clicked next again. Bum, bum, so, okay, next up. Diamond Head! Plus him! Okay! Interesting little... Well, he's got the spits at back and everything. Oh, da, da. Very nice. And, yeah, we've got our damage reduction. Damage-wise, we're doing, yeah, more than what the other ones were. Ooh! Oh, that's much cooler than the other one! So, it's, it's the same idea as previously, where it's they're throwing ace shards. They're throwing ace shards. But, oh, that one's way killer. Hello. You can literally see it growing on your hand for when you're... Oh, yeah, you can even see it on third person. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I like this one. Okay, this is my favorite diamond. This is my favorite of the diamond heads. I mean, this is all he's got. But this is easily my favorite. Oh, oh he can just shoot. He can just shoot randomly as well. Hold well on. I mean, again, it is just ice, but it looks cool. You had those little extra bits, little extra effect in the hand there. Uh, you know, that the, even just the color of the Barbie is slightly different. All those little things. Very nice. Easily my favorite diamond head from that. Also, yeah, just the one itself does look pretty good as well. All right, who we got next then? We have got Wild Mart. Also, I put on a brand new Omnitrix. I did not remember what I was last done. Diamond Head, accelerate! Let's go for you then, Badoom. Ooh! Oh, hello! I just saw that tail as an F5 out there. Oh! Oh, it's so weird, but I love it. <laughs> it's got a wiggly tail. Okay, so yeah, I uh, accelerate as you might expect. Super speed! Oh, hello! Okay! That's very loud. But, uh. Oh, that's a very cool super speed part. Okay, very good. You like... Can we go quicker again, or...? No, okay, so that is max speed. There's no way to turn his helmet on, then. Oh, I even said the slow motion, but you go slow mo mode. Okay, well, I always am gonna dig a bit of the old super speed. I... I... Yeah, I don't think there's a way to turn his helmet on, though. If he has a helmet. I thought he would have a helmet. Unless maybe there's a way to make him even quicker, I don't know. Okay, so for damage, we do five. Cool. And, I mean, yeah, for the actual super speed part, so I, I love the effect for it. I love the, the lightning straight line effect coming off from it. That's very cool. After image is always fun. It's very loud. It is a very noisy ability, this one. So, that's the thing. Ow! Oh, God. 
Yeah, running into things still just do heart me. Oh, the bar. Well, yeah. I quite like it. I think it looks like the model itself looks fantastic. Like, I love the model. I love the little extra effects and stuff. Oh my god, slow mo combat is so weird. Ah. I also miss mob dismemberment. I probably can add it back in because, yeah, the, the, it, it turns out that was nothing to do with why we were breaking. Also, yeah, turn that off now. Run away from the mobs. They put the watch back on so the timer resets. There we go. Get the timer going. All right, next up, ba -ba we've got Grey Manners. This one should be interesting because, all right, well, one, we are small. Uh, two. So while everything was having a breakdown, aka the suits now were going all weird, I did look in the comments of the mod page to see if there was a fix for it. Turns out there was actually someone that mentioned it in a fix for it. I actually missed that. <laughs> it took me longer. I, I just thought updating the mod myself, like, as process of elimination uh, for fixes and stuff. But looking through it, I saw a thing mentioning uh, Grey Matter and the fact that he can apparently do some fun stuff with particular items. So I'm glad I saw that because I wouldn't have known that. I would have just thought Grey Matter is small and that is what he does. So from what I saw, having a pot. Oh! <laughs> Okay, that's what the pot's for then. Uh, so basically, yeah, you could. Uh, it, it said you could have some fun with a pot. You you hold the pot in your hand above your head, like. That's so cool. Okay, I love that. That is brilliant. He actually like basically like crimson thing. Okay, uh, mini atom was apparently another one. He apparently, could have some fun with. That was not what I intended to do. No, now I've got to wait for the timer thing and da da da. Now the suit's gone all thingy. Ah, da, da. It said you can have some fun with mini atom. I don't know what that means. I have no idea what that means. So that's, uh, I don't know. The other one was a cold gun. Oh, wait. Hold on. Maybe I just had to look at my model while I was holding mini atom. Hold the bus. Right. Grey matter again. Boop right. Looking at the model. Is it just that I'm holding it and he's really small? Is that what this is? I'm not sure. It might be. Then again, steak is also really small. So that's not any different. Ah! <laughs> right! If you take the cold gun out, it... Yeah, I can't actually shoot the cold gun, but I can, like, carry it like this. Okay, also, what does it mean? Oh. Oh, hello? <laughs> oh my god! What? I had no idea. I was not expecting that. I I don't think it actually does anything. I don't think I can even shoot with it. I think it's... Can you shoot with this? It looks like, yeah, I don't think I can actually shoot with this. Oh, my, oh no, I can! Okay, I used to have empty hands. Oh my god, that's insane! Oh, I love that! That's so cool! You can turn the mini gun into a little tank thing! Ah! Blast them! Oh, this is my favourite thing. This has just became my favourite thing. I was not expecting that. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy I tried this mod. That was brilliant. And I'm really curious. Hold on. I sit up. Take the thing off. Excellent. Right. No, it still doesn't say anything with him. Okay, so maybe it's not mini out. Maybe it's just a part of his suit I need to take. No. What about... What about you? Also, no. No, I didn't mean to do that. Turn it off. Ah. Right, whatever. I don't know how the mini atom thing works. Like, I, I don't see, I, I see miniaturized atom, which doesn't seem to do anything, and I tried holding the suit and stuff, and click, when I right click it, it just puts the suit on, so that's no help to me. That's right, the gold gun, though. That's amazing. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> that was brilliant. Okay, well, whatever. I, if anyone does say the mini atom thing works, let me know, but grey matter that. <laughs> I, I, I found a reason to want to use grey matter from that. I say, though, the more fun I have when the alien, the longer it takes the timer to fix itself. <laughs> Anyway, forearms! We actually have forearms, we're bigger built, we're... It's maybe the best forearms mod I've ever seen. Hello. Okay. Punch! We do 10 damage. Excellent. Ground smash! Ah! That always does lots of damage. And a ground tremor technique. So, kind of what you'd expect from forearms. Other than that, yeah, we can jump. We can jump really high if we run in... It's okay, we got a regular jump. Then if we sprint and jump, yeah, we can do, do proper Hulk jumps. Ah, oh, the bar. Yeah, see this, uh, see this Ben 10 add-on mod thing? Like, generally, might be my favourite Ben 10 thing I've ever seen. <laughs> like, oh my god, the models are so good! Like, look at this forearm, like, it, it, a lot of the time when you do forearm models, they don't have actual forearms. This one actually has forearms, and they're not all moving or anything like that, but they're there. And... Alright, are they moving some of the time? Well, they're moving some of the time. Yeah, it's just ice play tricks moving, but yeah. Like, it's, 
The first one is really simple. You don't have to expect a lot from four hours, but it just looks so freaking cool. The green matter thing blew my mind. I wasn't expecting that. That was brilliant. <laughs> and yeah, this is... Oh my god, it's a brilliant little mod. This is a brilliant little Ben 10 mod. I love this. I mean, okay, downside being, you know, the whole timer waiting thing. Like, if that was an optional feature, like... Wow, it'd be so, so freaking fun. Like, it still is freaking fun. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm having fun just testing out the aliens and stuff like this. I'm really glad I didn't try this before the review. Like, I tried the, I tried the watch and saw that Heat Blast texture was bugged out. And, like, I figured I would show that and then try and fix it. And I, and I tried Heat Blast a little bit, but I never tried any of the other aliens beyond that. So I had no idea what other things you could do. Oh my god. Like, I... This might generally just... It's, not, it's an add-on mod, but it might generally just be my favourite Ben 10 thing I've seen so far. Just because the models look so freaking good. But anyway, next up, Stinkfly! So, yep, Stinkfly model. In. Excellent. We can... Can we... How do we... How do we... Get, how, how, how do we fly game? Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's, it's the awkward flight from... Um, Okay, okay, okay. It's, it's the awkward flight from uh, Starfire and stuff like that. Basically, you have to control sprint or whatever button is you've got uh, as you're wanting to fly. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, it's a full stink fly model, though. Little wings, little stubby stink fly body. Has a shoot ability. What does he shoot? He shoots. Ow, feck. Uh, he shoots whatever this glunk stuff is. Ah. Ooh, that's intense. <laughs> Okay, zombies enjoying that. I don't have that we can just punch and do damage. Again, though, the freaking model. Oh my god. This looks so good. This looks freaking amazing. Like, yeah, the flight. I, I find this version of flight really awkward. Like, once you get the hang of it, it's not too hard. It's basically like, you've got to, like, double jump so you get into a glide and you just hold sprint. It's not, it's not like, super. It's more awkward than, obviously, the other versions of flight are. It's essentially, like, you're using an Elytra, but that you, you can take off yourself, which... I mean, it works. It works. It's just, you know, it's a lot harder to control than, like, standard flight or the Iron Man flight. But, I mean, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not terrible, terrible than that. I just, again, as I said, a little bit more awkward. But I can't go over how good these models look. I'm going to keep coming back to this with every alien, apparently. Because every alien looks bloody fantastic. Yeah, you know, recently I actually did a little thing where I did Ben 10 versus Danny Phantom with Drake. And it was, you know, it was a fun video. We played uh, using Hero Expansion, and we used the add-on mods for Hero Expansion for Ben 10 and Danny Phantom, made for the same person. Unfortunately, Ben 10 mod was due to get a really awesome looking update, and just hasn't got one ages. And basically, Drake isn't, like, super high on the Fisk's mods. Like, you know, he, he hasn't, like, actively said it's barring that, but, like, you know, he's not, he's not super, super into, like, the level I am. <laughs> I am very excited about playing it. And, yeah, like, there are Ben 10 stuff in it, and all the Ben 10 stuff, it's looked good. This, though... I would argue this might be the best. <laughs> like, obviously, the watch feature itself is obviously its own little thing. Like, you know, if, if you got rid of that, I, it'd be undeniably, like, freaking just insane. Like, cause from the models, from the something indoor, I mean, so much fun with this. It, it, it's good to look so good while you play. It's good to have an actual model for it and stuff. I'm I'm spending a lot more time on this mod than I thought I was. I generally thought I was going to be rattling through these super fast and not doing very much, but... No, apparently I'm, like, spending a fair bit of time on it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God, yes. Yes, yes. You've got the actual full-on tail. You've got the actual... On Earth. Sprint. Yes, swim. Yes, there we go. Ow, you headbutt thing. I could do with night vision while, uh, while Ripjaw... Let's <laughs> not be able to say the water thing sucks. So, apparently, uh, Ripjaw has more armor when he's in the water. And he's probably going to be stronger while he's in the water, too. And, yeah, as you see, he's got a swimmy animation thing for when he... So you see, yeah, so when you hold, you press shift and you sprint forward and you go. But I keep bumping into stuff because I keep. Okay, how is that glitching at that? Okay, I didn't ability to see underwater game. This, it's because it's night time, isn't it? Time set day. No, not really. It's just really dark because it's. Because it is. Also, I'm taking a lot of damage randomly. Is that. Why is that? Is that because air? I don't know. Oh, I know. It's because he's. Oh, it's because he's been uh, when he's out of the water. He's generally just get less health. Oh, I didn't notice that. That's why I keep taking damage. I was wondering what was hurting me there. No, it's not. It's just because when I'm leaving the water. Yeah, okay. Because when I'm leaving the water, it's really hard to like actually use swim him properly though, because I generally can't see. Okay, biggest fault with Rip Jones right now is just the fact I can't see underwater. Like, 
I can see the water can have more fun with this, but I keep bumping into crap because of it. Yeah, honestly, Ripjaw is probably probably always like, it's always gonna be my least favorite alien. <laughs> Just because he's a he's a alien that operates being in the water and in Minecraft, quite often, there's not a lot to do in the water. Like, there's not a lot of enemies in the water. So, quite often, he's going to be the one, you know, who had the least to do. But, you know, I think that's fair to say it is ripped after all. <laughs> there you go, it is what it is. I mean, yeah, no, his model looked really good. Even out of land. In, in, when he was swimming, that looked incredible. With the, with the glowiness and, you know, just, the ability to have his... The tail for swimming in battle. But, uh, yeah, not being able to see underwater kind of sucks. Keep bumping into stuff because he'll move really quick. And I'll bang into something. Anyway, back to slightly almost dark time so that mobs and that can, you know, function and things. Right, what's the next alien then? Who's next on the list? We have got Upgrade. Who's next after that? Ghost Freak. I'm going to do Ghost Freak first because I want to save Upgrade for last because apparently he's also got things he can upgrade. So, I'm intrigued. But yeah, Ghost Freak. Oh, all these tentacles. Oh, I was not expecting that. I was generally thinking he's going to be like the other ones where, you know, he has a Ghost Freak body. Okay, right, well, first things first, we're getting visibility, right? Yep, normal. We're getting tangibility. Oh, he's in tangibility. He's got a timer, though, this time. Probably makes sense. It's very overpowered. We don't have that. So, yeah, he's got that. He can fly. So, the usual stuff we've seen with Ghost Freak, where, you know, he just he, do he does these things. That's all very normal. Cool. Right. Toggle and tangibility. Toggle and visibility. Right. So, toggle... Yeah, you can toggle tentacles okay then. So if we shove things that oh you can see the tentacles as well. Just punching I do that. I can I can have my tentacle jab at things. <laughs> okay, yes. I need to like do proper solid uh little jabs though, like I need... Oh. Oh my tentacle went away. Right, again. Boop -a -doo. So it's not like Doc Ox thing where I can just I can just spam the button. I need to pro I pretty much need to stop for a second and do that again. It does seem like they get some kind of debuff, though, when they're hit by it. So, that's cool. Okay, yeah, as usual, Ghost Freak's not really, like, a super strong face alien. But he has the ability to, like, be scary if he goes invisible, fly around, goes intangible to escape you. And then he's just got creepy tentacles on top of that, which... Oh! Hello! Oh, he's even got a look for his intangible mode! Oh, that's cool! Oh, I dig that, so you'll know if the person's intangible or not. Oh! Yeah, okay. I dig that. As I was saying, though, so, yeah. So, Ghost Freak, he's cool. He's way cool than other Ghost Freaks I've seen. I mean, that mode for one. And, you know, hollow tentacles. He just, he just has tentacles. They're not very strong, but then it's Ghost Freak. You don't really pick him to be a powerhouse, do you? So, yeah, I'm okay with that. You know, there's this delicate balance of me trying not to spend too long on one alien. Because for one, I've already looked at my record time and realised I've been recording for quite a while. But then again, been a lot of starting and stopping between the Ben 10 stuff and me fixing the thing and not realising there was a fix on the page and blah blah. But yeah, but pretty much though, if yeah, if you're playing with this add-on, just make sure you're using the latest version of Piss mod and you'll be fine. If the textures are breaking, it's just because you're on the wrong version of Piss. That's pretty much it. But yeah, no, I'm trying to balance also the timer not going too low down. Because when the timer goes down, I have to wait for it. <laughs> I don't want to wait for it, because I've got to wait for it. So, I'm like trying to go through the aliens without taking like so, so much time. Which is a fun balance, but also the fact I keep getting carried away because I'm having a lot of fun with aliens. I want to play with them more. So, that's the thing. Right, anyway. Final Ilion Upgrade when it's ready. I saw when I looked in the comment section of the thing. Apparently, Upgrade also has an ability thing. And this time I've got to go about the timer because this is the last thing we're looking at. So, upgrade. So, yeah, looks cool. It's upgrade. Makes sense. He's getting his... Uh, ooh! A very violent looking laser coming out his eye. Yup. Dig that. He's got a liquid form. What on earth is upgrade's liquid form? Oh, oh no, yeah. Okay, I, I just look at him like, wait, what do you mean liquid form? Oh, yeah, no, yeah, he squishes down his body, so it doesn't need that. It's just a normal thing. But um, the other other thing is you can do tech scan. The only two I saw was a main cart and Mysterio's helmet. So main cart first, tech scan. <laughs> yes, hello. Okay, so you can hold. Oh my god. Okay, so you can hold control and you can just fly around like a fighter jet from main cart. Right then. <laughs> I kind of wish you could use a laser on top of that. Look at that! Thanks for the solace! It's so cool! 
Oh my god, I am wondering now if I can have someone raid in my back. Ah, oh, you're the person for that though, unfortunately. Okay, so upgrades, tech scanning does seem to have its own little timer. So that's the thing. Okay, so we're going to land down, tech scanning out. Oh, oh that looks so good. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's a really cool upgrade. The effects look amazing. Oh, da, da. I'm generally debating in my head, like, do I prefer this one to the Hero Expansion one? Because the Hero Expansion one's got way more aliens. But it's a really boring uh, for combat in a lot of cases, because it's, it's very simply mode. Like, it copies over like some of the powers from Hero Expansion. It's quite simply uh, just, like, some basic lasers, and most of it involves energy she punching. The upgrade one's kind of fun because it's got a few different forms, and it can do a couple of little attacks because of that. But, I mean... Yeah, like, I, I think the only thing it's got in favour is the fact it's got obviously master control as an option, but you obviously don't start with that, but like, yeah. other than that, like, this one looks better. <laughs> I'd say the models for this probably look better, and the effects are obviously a lot nicer. Obviously because, you know, it's piggybacking, it's an add-on for a fist mod, which, fist mod is beautiful, so, it's that, but it's, it's got its own little custom animation, like, like transformation for upgrade there, and a lot of little bits. I just, yeah, the add-on itself just adds some extremely brilliant bits itself, it's... Oh, da -da. I am I'm generally debating in my head which I prefer more because it, it like the hero experiment has some advantage because that has more stuff, but I mean it's quality versus quantity at this point. Like the quality of this is insane. But anyway, we're not done. Tech scan. Still oh my god! Hold on, see the trans Oh my god! Oh I do love that. Hold on, we can We're turning into a combat drone! <laughs> Yeah, you know change for me. I forget the main cart. It's alright, there's no lasers. We can turn that fucking drone. I'm I'm completely suddenly okay with it not having lasers. This makes up for it. Oh my god. Oh my god, we can also just hit them, we don't do any damage. Yeah, okay. Ah! Oh! oh, I love this! Yeah no, this upgrade's better. This upgrade's way killer. I love this upgrade more. <laughs> I can't wait to see. Like, it, it, this is just the start of the They are planning to add more aliens and more bits. Like, if they added more upgrade forms and stuff. Oh my god. You could generally just play a... a you could generally just play a Ben 10 series just using the Fist mod. A Ben 10 add-on. Like, you could generally just play full-on Ben 10 just using that. <laughs> oh, I'm so giddy after watching and seeing this. This is incredible. This adds to the fully functioning Omnitrix. Timer included. Eh, that may irk some people. It irks me because I'm doing a mod review and that means it's a waste of time. Whatever, it's still it's a more true original Ben 10 experience. The original ten, Ben 10 aliens, all 10 of them, fully in really cool customized models, really cool powers. Oh my god, the Omnitrix mod is fantastic. I, I genuinely think it is my favorite Ben 10 mod. <laughs> like, it's an add-on mod, but it's still a mod in its own way, you know? It's, I know mods are really like that, because they are mods, but they're add-on mods. So you can fight technicalities, I don't care. I'm saying it's my favourite Ben 10 thing, okay? Anyway, though, thank you very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the show. So, yeah, again, links down below. It's an add-on for this um, Super Heroes mod. Link will be that to that as well, or it should be. And, um, yeah, just use the latest version. So, I'm in. Go nuts, I guess. Wowza. This was way better than I was expecting. I thought, yeah, well, it looks all right from the pictures. Nah, it's, it'd probably be fun. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, I love this. But yeah, let us know. Let us know in the comments. One, do you know the, the missing thing with uh, Grey Matter for the, the Atom Suit? If you know how that works, let us know, because I have no clue. Uh, but yeah, let us know your thoughts. You think this might be the best Ben 10 add-on slash mod thing ever? Like, let me know if you think uh, other things better, if you, if you agree. Like, I think it might be. It might, it, it, it's so freaking good. They add more to it. They add Master Control. They add in more aliens and stuff. Oh my god, the potential. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to start crashing over this now because I'll be here for ages just going on about it. Anyway, you know my thoughts now. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you all next time for whatever random mod review thing slash fist mod review thing I end up doing next. Go buy everybody. Da, 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 da. Also, just want to say a quick thank you to all of the channel members for the extra support. And a special thank you and shout out to our late members, the joining members, Austin Quinzenberry, Sebastian Ramsey, Alexander01, Bo Draper, and Isaac Washington, and our Anbu members, Gold Dragon, Monster Q, Hollow the Void, and Anime Boy Cross Sand 75. Thank you all very much for the extra awesome support. Butter, butter, butter.